Do you remember this story from your primary school days? King Alfred the Great is on the run from the Vikings, right? And he dives into this vast network of salty marshes that completely covered this area during the 9th century. And he sees this little mud hut that belongs to a swineherd and his wife. And he tells them that he's a deserter from the English army and they agree to hide him. And the swineherd goes off and gets on with his jobs. She goes off and does her chores. And Alfred's sitting there, completely wrapped in thought, and he doesn't notice this huge black cloud pouring out of the fire, and the swineherd's wife comes back in, and she is absolutely livid. You couldn't be bothered to keep an eye on my cakes, could you, she says, but you wouldn't mind shoveling them down your throat when they were baked, would you, you greedy fat lummox? So what does Alfred do? Does he storm off in some kingly huff? No, Alfred the Great is a man of the people. He's like some 9th century Che Guevara figure. He just apologises profusely and in some royal way that I've never quite understood. He uses the whole experience as a kind of learning curve that enables him to gather all his people together and lead them in another charge against the Vikings. So, is that just a little romantic tale? or was it based in historical fact? Well, the Time Team is in Somerset this week, on the Somerset levels, and we're here because one particular Somerset family has got a very interesting piece of Alfred's history right on their doorstep, and they'd like us to try and sort it out for them. Dear Time Team, for over 50 years, my family and I have farmed at Athelney. We are aware it is the site of Alfred's Abbey, and it is believed he had a fort here. Can you produce any evidence of those buildings and show what Athony looked like in Alfred's time? Yours sincerely, Tim Morgan, Athony Farm. Operating from their base, the George Hotel in Wedmore, the time team have just three days to find the answers. Right, so evidence of the fort, what did Athony look like? And Mr Morgan asks, why was he great? Well, I think, I think we can tackle the first bits about uh, Athelney itself. Uh, I mean, the obvious thing there is to do uh, some field walking and some geophysics and so on. Let's really have a look at what's what's under there because it's been ploughed a lot, so it's fairly flattened. It's scheduled, isn't it? So, in other words, we can't yeah. put a trench in. No. no. So, uh, mm. yeah, I mean, the, the, the best option got to be field walking. What's well, scheduled mean? Well, I mean, it's, it's a protected site. Yeah. It's against the law to start disturbing a scheduled monument. Uh, other than what its current land use is. I thought archaeologists had been wrecking sites for <laughs> 60, 70 years. Oh, we have, but uh, it's all in the uh, <laughs> oh, name of science. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go then, shall we? Okay, yeah. The Isle of Athelney is in Somerset, situated here to the southwest of Wedmore and about 10 miles from Taunton. Oh, it's great. Okay, let's 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 all pile out. Let's have a chat with him. Hello, are you Mr. Morgan? That's right. Hello, my name's Mick Aston from the Time Team. How do you do? This is uh, Phil Harding. How do you do? Karen. So, Robbie, what's the significance of this place apart from the fact that Alfred hid in a few square miles of bog? What does it tell us? Well, really, I suppose it is that that was the kingdom of the West Saxons, or even the, the kingdom of the Saxon English. At one point in the time that we're discussing this weekend, in, in 878, uh, Alfred's kingdom had shrunk to the few acres that surround Athelney. The particular uh, reason why we know so much about Alfred is uh, from the fact that a chap called Asser, who was uh, a Welsh friend of his and became one of his bishops, wrote a very detailed life about him. It's the only life of a Saxon king that we have of that kind. At the time that we're talking about, um, he was uh, just coming up to 30. Uh, he was the fourth son of his father, and in fact the fourth son to be king. Uh, I don't suppose he ever expected to be king in his early years, with three elder brothers between him and the throne, but he had a, a horrendous situation to face, because the Danes had literally split England in two. They'd uh, cruelly slaughtered most of the kings of places like Northumbria and East Anglia, uh, and were obviously intent on taking the rest of England for themselves. But I think he wanted to get where people who didn't know the, the exact lie of the land wouldn't find him. Uh, he didn't, by all accounts, have very many followers with him, and so he ended up at the, the Isle of Athelney.